Kitty, kitty, kitty. I got to pet this guy again today. A lot longer than last time. Come on. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Come on. It's okay. Kitty, 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 kitty. He's one of the stray toms that's been visiting our ladies. Pretty much all these are women except for two. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> Hey, be nice to uh, Smokey. Smokey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Why does not people like Smokey? Smokey, kitty, kitty. All right, I gotta get to work. Kitty, 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 kitty,
we burned that mattress actually but chip when he decided he wanted to go into a nursing home and decided he wasn't going to walk anymore <clears throat> and sarah let him not walk anymore he basically became a quadriplegic <clears throat> and lost all of his motor skills in his legs and he got his wish he's now in a nursing home and he wishes he could get out <clears throat> And, uh, unfortunately, he put himself there because he just gave up on life. I mean, I understand giving up on life. I mean, I want to give up on life a lot. But, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so this is a coconut flower. <clears throat> I already put most of it in the cat. Uh, blend. So I'm gonna put the rest in here. <clears throat> and on my recipe deal, I put 16 ounces of this <clears throat> to go into this blend, but this is actually more than 16 ounces. So this is pretty much the dewormer blend. And coconut helps keep down uh tapeworms although i don't think the goats and chickens have to worry about that <clears throat> but the cats definitely do so i got that at walmart <clears throat> and it's supposedly organic i also got some regular coconut too <clears throat> which i thought about putting in there but it was too moist i'm gonna have to dry it out now that powder might help dry it out, but <clears throat> now see one of the things that started <clears throat> um, baffling me with David was <clears throat> not long after I put these doors on this chicken coop, <clears throat> all of a sudden there's this round hole here. And it looked like maybe something was thrown at it or whatever. Well, there was, I got rid of it already, but there was a round rock <coughs> sitting like right here when I discovered that indention. <coughs> and I held it up to the indention and it matched the indention. <coughs> And I asked David Ray about it. And he came up with some cockable story like, oh, the raccoons must have did it. I'm like, raccoons could throw a rock that hard <clears throat> and basically puncture a hole in the uh, this hard-ass wood. I don't think raccoons are that strong. Now, David's super strong. <clears throat> I think it was him. Now, why did he throw a rock? I don't know. Maybe he was throwing it at something. Because he was mad. He gets really angry. He has anger issues. And um, <clears throat> he gets really angry. And does things like that. And you, you know, we'll hear him yelling and cursing at inanimate objects. <clears throat> I think he did it. But then he wanted to lie and cover it up. And say the raccoons did it. And I'm like, what? That doesn't even make sense. So that was... Oh, hey, she's not on the nest. I can check the eggs. Oh, yep, see? David doesn't check nothing. Of course, it's kind of hard to get her off of the nest. But... 23. 22. 24. Okay, this nest doesn't look too bad. I'm going to go ahead and just clean it up a little bit. I'll go ahead and put those back in. Maybe she'll hatch them out. I'm not getting my hopes up. <clears throat> I don't think we've had any chickens hatch yet. 
Is this one marked? Yeah, that one's marked. Okay. <clears throat> Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. All right. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and give her a little bit more hay. Maybe she'll organize it. Probably not. check her and see if she has any stuck to her belly last time I was home she had some stuck to her under undercarriage you have any eggs stuck to you no don't look like it no she's good I sold the other gray hen <clears throat> I thought I sold the, the more broody hen but I guess she's the more broody one <clears throat> but that's okay the other one was pretty broody too So we got the gray one, she's definitely broody. <clears throat> the white one's broody. <laughs> um, one of the speckled orange ones is broody. I think one of the other orange ones are broody. Hey. <clears throat> and this bald eagle is broody. So this is the first time I haven't seen the gray one in the nest for a while. That's because I threw some donuts in there. She was kind of 50-50 for a while, and then this last week she's been sitting on the nest pretty solid. I see her in the evening, I see her in the morning sitting on the nest. Yeah, she growls at me anytime I get close to it. <clears throat> she's the only one I see nesting. Yep. <coughs> Roll the notes again with a handful of grain. I thought we were supposed to feed them in the evening, not every morning. I haven't been feeding them this for quite a while. I just just give them a, just a handful to get them to go where they need to go. Oh, that's right, because we're moving them. <coughs> yeah, I mixed them together. So the other one's empty now. somebody down here the conversation was so thick uh, I was just talking you know talking about the chickens <clears throat> the goats like this grass yeah and this is the type of grass I like for uh, this this is toilet paper oh okay the other grass you can use, but this is the best grass for toilet paper. That one? Yeah, that'd be great.
Me? Yeah. I can do this one handed, but he can't seem to do it at all. I don't really need this too much anymore, but still got a little bit of hay over there that I don't want them to decimate. I mean, not decimate, uh, soil. So that's why I'm doing this. First time they've had salt in for years. David knows they need these sort of things, but he won't buy it. I gotta do it. So there's a little bit left here. I'm gonna try to protect it the best I can. So they don't poop and pee all over it. Cause I know he ain't gonna buy none. I gotta buy everything. He doesn't appreciate what I do. <clears throat> Hi Mimi. Go get me your babies. <clears throat> Where's them babies? All right. You can shake this while I. <coughs> Meh. There's some baby kittens in here somewhere. I don't know where Mimi's got them, but they're in here. She might have hit them in the pallet walls, which is cool. Where's them babies? Where'd you hide them babies?
I know you got them in here somewhere. There they are. Give me them babies. I want them babies. Come on, little kittens. <clears throat> ah, she'll move them. But yeah, she's got two little black kittens. Take a picture. Because the new girl talked about wanting some black kittens. <clears throat> so next month all these boys except for these two little ones are going to the market <clears throat> unless I get them sold to somebody else sooner Yeah, put cinnamon in the uh, herbal blend and help and garlic to help keep the ticks down. But I probably need to du double that. They say the ticks are bad this year. Yeah, I, I started getting ticks about two months ago. <clears throat> yep. That said, I haven't seen too many since though. I haven't seemed to get any at all. Maybe I should give them whatever I'm eating. Well, not really. I put it on their hay. <clears throat> right. To attract them over here. Right. Like right here in the corner. <clears throat> All gone. Matt! Got it. Cleopatra! She says, <laughs> she'll lick the bucket. Yeah, I like the bucket. She likes the diatomaceous earth blend. <clears throat> Here, let me see the bucket. Hey, you want to lick the bucket? Want to lick the bucket? <laughs> Here you go. She's crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. She goes, I'm a woman. Of course I'm crazy. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I needed to check this. Okay. So they are longer. Trigger. Little trigger. <clears throat> he lost part of his ear. I'm not sure what that's all about. I gotta look into that. But it was, yeah, kind of like dry rot or something. I don't know. What happened to your ears? What happened to your ears? See, like, don't stop scratching. I like scratchies. Needle trigger. <clears throat> mm. 
This is my mom's goat. David wanted to put Trig down. And my mom and Garrett said no. So they took her to the vet. And they said it would only cost like 50 bucks. Plus, you know, the medicine. For amputation. So I was like, alright, we'll save her. And this is her little trig baby. Little trig baby. <laughs> He's adorable. Just like his mommy. Just like his mommy. She's wearing a purple collar, but I need to change it to a pink collar because purple is for the Skygerians. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we're not keeping her either because I'm giving you to a friend who will take good care of her. <clears throat> so anyways, <clears throat> so here's the work I did yesterday. Like I said, I got home yesterday evening, so I didn't get a lot done. <clears throat> I'll get some more work done today before my mom comes down. But I basically pounded this down further. <clears throat> got these rocks here and boards. I'm going to get some more rocks. Put them there this morning. <clears throat> um, you can tell which ones are new by... You know how dark they are. The lighter they are, the newer they are. So I've been working on this because it never got finished. <clears throat> um, I only did two poles yesterday or two T-posts yesterday. <clears throat> this one. No, this one. Maybe I did three. So you got this one done. I don't know. Maybe I did that one too. Maybe I got four done. It's hard telling. But I did these yesterday. So I'm going to do these today. <coughs> At least get the goat yards finished. <coughs> That's my objective. <coughs> you know. Been here seven years. Like I said, the first one we got up seven years ago. But it got done half ass. It never got finished. And then this one, we, it took me three years to get him to, you know, clear the everything and get everything ready for this and put stuff up. You know, of course I helped. But it's like he never finished it. I had to come back and tie these in because he doesn't care. <coughs> so. <coughs> and the goats kept getting out. That's like their main escape route for this yard. That should have been fixed a long time ago. He's here seven days a week. So. <clears throat> I fixed one of their escape routes right here by putting lick tubs in front of it. Which it worked. <clears throat> I mean, the little goats can probably get over there, but they ain't gonna hurt nothing. They won't go very far. I'm not worried about the little goats so much. But I am more worried about predators getting in. Trigger. So we'll probably keep Trigger. <coughs> not sure. David's going to try to claim him. <coughs> Even though he didn't want Trig. So I'll leave that untied because I'm going to be back down here to move rocks. <clears throat> this is another escape route. These sticks aren't really going to block them from getting out so much. But the lick tubs help.
probably should just put another T post here, but this isn't fully tied. See, we need at least four ties here. This one's not done. It either broke or wasn't done at all. There's only three here. <coughs> so, <coughs> like I said, he half assed those things. There's four here, but they're not properly tied. But one could have broke. I don't know. <clears throat> they're always rubbing up against the fence. So... Yeah, basically, it's routine maintenance. You got to come back here and <clears throat> make sure everything's secure. <clears throat> now, see, this is how he told me it's supposed to be done with four, but this is how he does it with three. It's like he says one thing and then does another. It's like, come on, dude. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I guess that's it for the update for the morning. Not sure what else to update. <clears throat> I'm gonna get to work till my mom comes down. Oh, I gotta go up and check my other phone. This phone got hacked, so I'm strictly just using it to videotape now. <clears throat> I gotta go to T-Mobile today. And um, get a new phone. Mostly because I don't want to lose my text messages on this phone. Because I've got paper trail that I'm trying to document. <clears throat> so, I'll just get another phone. It won't be that terribly expensive. And then, uh, <clears throat> that way I can keep my documentation on this phone. I'll just download a video screen recorder so that um, um, I can back all that up on a video <clears throat> and then I can reformat this phone and I'll just use it as a backup <clears throat> so I very rarely ever get hacked um, <clears throat> I think I've only been hacked twice since these new smartphones came out. I got a pretty good security system, but nothing is 100%. <clears throat> so the new girl's talking about uh, doing personal gardens. This is the personal garden section. <clears throat> but if she wants to make it bigger and do it somewhere else, oh, I need to check this because... I wasn't sure if the goats were eating it or if David used my lawnmower without permission. Doesn't look like he used it. <clears throat> Maybe. No, doesn't look like he used it. Nah, it's still dry in there. So maybe the goats are eating it. David wanted to use my lawnmower, but it's like, why? He backstabbed me, sabotaged me, talked shit on me. 
you know? Kiss ass to my face, but then do all this other crap behind my back. Plus, he tore up my uh, push mowers and then just left them out in the field as if it was my problem, not his. <coughs> Cost me a couple hundred dollars, a few hundred dollars for that. <coughs> and it's like, why am I going to let you use my stuff when you're just going to disrespect me and tear my shit up? I don't think so. So, he's got his own mower. <clears throat> he has been doing some gardening up front. I'll videotape that later. Because, well, let's go up there now. Fuck him. <clears throat> I don't care if he's here or not. <clears throat> but, I mean, he, everything he does is minuscule. <clears throat> I outwork him in two days, you know, versus his whole week here. It's kind of fucked up. <clears throat> now he would be a little bit more productive with the grass if he was using my lawnmower, but it's been raining all week, so he can't really use my lawnmower anyways. But again... <clears throat> he's cost me too much money already why am I going to let him cost me more <laughs> besides my mom would chew my butt if I let him use my lawnmower because she knows how hard he is on equipment and he just doesn't care he's like ah it's not mine <laughs> <clears throat> he tears things up then he expects me to fix it and if he actually did stuff around here and cared about my equipment better then I wouldn't mind fixing it. I wouldn't mind buying it. But <clears throat> that's not the case. You know, like I said, first five years, I was paid for everything. I owned everything, all the equipment. Paid him 10% of my income. And what did I get for it? <clears throat> <clears throat> I should have bought some Vaseline because I basically got fucked. <clears throat> But anyways, and not in a romantic sense, because I don't go that way. I mean, but we were so tight at one time. Everybody actually thought we were boyfriend and boyfriend. That's how close we were. We were best buds. <clears throat> now we're almost like enemies. <clears throat> I can't stand him. He's too much like Jerry Diamond. I'll talk, little to no action. Expects everybody else to do all the work. He just wants to sit on his butt and be smart. And then tries to claim your property as his. <clears throat> now, Jerry Diamond's a thief. David's not exactly a thief yet. But that's, he's just one step from being exactly like Jerry Diamond. So, I just don't trust him anymore. So that's why I have to document everything. So here we go. Here's his work. This is what he's been doing all spring. Oh, and winter because he started last year. That's it. He's very productive. <clears throat> I give up. It's supposed to be passion fruit. Let's see if they grow. There was also, um, um, what are they called? 
lemon cucumbers or something like that. I think that's what this was. It was like a lemon cucumber <coughs> growing over here. That was a volunteer. I think this was too. We don't know where they came from. Because I don't remember growing them. So. Anyways. <coughs> so that's David's progress. I mean, it's some progress, but it ain't much. You know, like I said, it wouldn't be so bad if he wasn't stabbing me in the back. Sabotaging me and trash talking me. So, <coughs> yeah. Now I have to go document everything. Because <coughs> if he tries to, you know, on the legal aspect, if he tries to claim that he did all this stuff around here, <coughs> and I don't have evidence that he didn't do shit, then who's, who are they going to believe? So here's the south fence line. <clears throat> that he was supposed to work on. And he didn't. I had to do it. <clears throat> I got documentation of that in the past. <clears throat> I didn't upload all my videos. To YouTube. I should have. <clears throat> um, but I got most of them. <clears throat> I still got to do some more work. In the valley. Which I'll do that this weekend too. Because I'm trying to get this ready. For um, <clears throat> my fencing guy. This fence line is going to cost me five grand. David was supposed to do it. <clears throat> clear it. And then I would put the, buy the fence. And he was supposed to put it up. But he goes around telling everybody. He's trying to save me money. On the fencing. It's like how are you trying to save me money? We should have been working on this for the last seven years. <clears throat> well mostly him. But actually it's been mostly me working on it for the last seven years <clears throat> amongst other things that he's supposed to be doing so i come home and do his job the two days i'm home plus i gotta clean up their trash because they throw trash all over the place him and the people that were here before so it's like i got a balance between cleaning up after people and being productive at the same time it's like i can't do both but i have to do both and I got to do their job to boot. So, namely his now, but when I had other people here, they weren't they weren't helpful either. I mean, they were a tiny bit. Just like David is a tiny bit. But that's about it. And I can't I can't I can't do a, a tiny bit. I need more than just half-ass help. <clears throat> Willy-nilly here and there bullshit. That isn't very productive. Not only that, they've never paid any rent. They've never really helped me with any bills. Or, uh... Expenses. I gotta pay for everything. And I gotta do all the work. So, uh, I pay for 90-95% 90, 90, of everything. I do 90-95% of the work. <clears throat> Why do I need them? <laughs> right? So, the only reason why I need David at this point is to look after the animals, which he doesn't hardly do. And to be a guard dog here so nobody robs me, which he's not really good at that either. <clears throat> so, I don't need him. Um, like I said, this new girl's going to be here in a couple few weeks. I've already given David a 60 day notice to get his stuff out of here. After he gets his stuff out of here, I'm going to give him another 90 days. This is probably too long. I know I should only give him 30, but <clears throat> I'm going to give him another 60 to 90 days to get his ass out of here. So, <clears throat> anyways, baby steps. So, I'm just easing him out of here. Giving him enough time to get his stuff out so that, you know, he has time to get his stuff out, you know. He let his license go so he can't drive. <clears throat> Nobody will let him borrow their vehicle except one person because he's an idiot too. 
Uh, I was an idiot for letting him drive my vehicles without a license. Well, he had a license up until last year. Then he let it expire. <clears throat> so I quit letting him drive my vehicles. He was just driving that black truck that I bought him. <clears throat> and, um... So it broke down on him this year and now he don't have any transportation but you know like i said i wouldn't be kicking him out if he wasn't stabbing me in the back trash talking me and sabotaging me you know <clears throat> and oh oh and following through with what he says he will do <clears throat> you know so he dug his own grave it's not my problem and uh, I don't feel sorry for him anymore. I used to. You know, when his family basically abandoned him and kicked him out on the street and made him homeless. I used to feel sorry for him, but now I understand why they wanted to get rid of him. Because I want to get rid of him for the same reason, probably. So, I'm selling pretty much everything that I don't need. I might keep these tanks, but if somebody gives me what I'm asking for then uh, I'll take it because I can get them <clears throat> cheaper than what I'm asking for them. Um, <clears throat> not much cheaper. Well, right now, maybe not the way the economy is, but <clears throat> <clears throat> I got a decent deal on those and a decent deal on those. So I'm asking a little more for them because... Uh, if I sell them and then have to replace them, well, you know, I may have to spend more for them. <clears throat> this all depends. But I'm asking basically fair market value for them. And I know what I paid for them, so if somebody can chew me down, but I won't go below what I paid for them. So yeah, anyways, I'm just cleaning house. I'm probably going to sell this place. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, bye. All right, I'm having too much problems with this phone. I'm currently backing up my other phone, but it looks like I got about an hour left for storage on this phone. So I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> do my recordings while I'm backing up my other phone. I'm going to go get a new phone today. This one got hacked and I'm having problems with it. But I backed everything up last night, and then I compressed all the all the files just in case a virus got through. But I scanned it, and it looked like it was clean, but I still compressed it just to be safe. <clears throat> this video is about why I lost two chickens to basically hanging themselves in the pallets. <clears throat> so... The first one we lost, she hung herself over here because she was trying to get up in here to get this grain. So she jumped up here to get the grain and she basically hung herself in the pallet. Now that wouldn't happen if David would have followed through with what he said he would do and put his, that, his foam crete machine to use and put the foam crete in here. Now it's going to help, but he keeps coming up with excuses every time I bring it up. <laughs> Now the plan was to take uh, boards, you know, because the foam crete you can only f do it like three foot deep, and uh, anyhow, so put boards up three foot deep, pour the foam crete in here, <coughs> fill it up. Once it dries, move the board up, pour more foam crete in till it dries. Then move the board up and just continue the process till we got all the way to the top. <clears throat> that was the plan. But David, I don't know. He's got a foam creep machine. I thought about going and buying my own because I can't rely on David to do anything. He keeps making excuses. I don't even know where his foam creep machine is. <clears throat> then I thought, okay, I'll just do hemp creep instead. Um... <clears throat> And basically just use weeds and paper and all this junk, you know, that's floating around. Also putting styrofoam in it. So it'll be styrofoam, papercrete, if you will, weed 
Crete <clears throat> and uh, pack that in. I just haven't got around to it. <laughs> now that I'm selling the chickens off, <clears throat> I'll uh, if I don't sell the property, then I'll end up getting to that myself or hiring somebody else to do it for me. But because um, <clears throat> I just can't count on David Ray. So about a week or two ago, another chicken hung herself in the pallet walls and uh, <clears throat> basically I blame David you know of course he blames me because he blames me for everything I'm sitting on the wrong nest but anyways <laughs> So that is <clears throat> the reason why the chickens hung themselves. Uh, fortunately, we've only lost two that way instead of a whole bunch. But I'd rather not lose any, especially to negligence. <clears throat> so, yeah, basically, I'm just going to take, uh, <clears throat> take this roost that I made out. It's not permanent. It's heavy, but it's not permanent. I'm going to take everything out. Now I'm a foam crete or hemp crete or weed crete, crap crete, whatever you want to call it, the walls. Then they'll be insulated. And then what I can do is uh, I'll go buy some more boards to put on the back side. I won't put boards on the side, but I'm going to put boards on the back side because that's where I want the nest boxes. <clears throat> and then um, that's if I stay here, like I said. If I sell the property, I won't probably do this. But, uh, anyways, and then I'll put nest boxes all along the back. Now, here's another thing, too. I told David and Sarah that these pallets needed to be up and down, not side by side, not going sideways like this. But they ignored me, and they basically just, you know, uh, started doing it this way. <clears throat> uh, David and Sarah basically did this first layer. This bottom layer and then I pretty much done most of the rest because Sarah wouldn't climb she was like I'm too short and David basically refused to help <clears throat> uh, he did help with a couple things um, what did he help me with I can't even remember he helped me with the roof um, not the wood part but uh, he helped with the metal part <clears throat> He helped. No, I did the doors. Um, he did help with these corner pieces because I was trying to get the uh, measurements and angles right. He did help with these sideboards. He did barely help with uh, the mesh that I wanted to put underneath. But he didn't help finish. I pretty much had to do most of that myself. Uh, what else did he help with? He helped... Uh, he did come up with the baseline for these boards, so they'll be level all the way around. So he did do that. Uh, I think that's it. I don't think he really helped with much else. I pretty much did everything else. Cindy helped me with the foundation. <clears throat> um, yeah, I can't think of anything else that anybody helped me with except this. My mom helped me with the siding. So, um, we still got to finish the siding, but I can't get David to help me. So I got to wait for my mom to come down and help me. And she doesn't come down very often. <clears throat> so there's that. <clears throat> uh, of course I can get Cindy over here to help me too, but she's not really that strong. <clears throat> I need somebody a little bit stronger than her, but this new girl's coming up hopefully maybe in a couple weeks. And, uh, she's a go-getter. So I'm sure she'll help me out. But, um, yeah. Anyways, so that's my update for that. <clears throat> I forgot to uh, do that video. So now I'm going to get to work <clears throat> in the goat yard. Basically trying to secure the goat yard more so the goats can't get out. <clears throat> like I said, in one month I'm selling the goats. Well, I'm working on selling them all right now anyways, but... <clears throat> Uh, there's an auction 
June 7th. And I should have my pickup truck back by then. I should have it back by next week. So, <clears throat> once I get my truck back, once the auction rolls around, whatever goats I don't sell between now and then, I'm going to load them up, take them to auction. First, I'm going to take the ones I don't want. <clears throat> and then, if that girl doesn't come up, and I don't have somebody to look after my goats while I'm on the road, then the next auction that comes up, I'm going to load up the rest of them and take them to auction. <clears throat> I did find a home for Trig if <clears throat> she follows through. <clears throat> uh, she don't live too far away. Uh, she's a girl that uh, is a um, in-home health care worker for a friend of, uh, friend of mine. I was going to say ours, but she doesn't like David either. I actually met her through David. <clears throat> um, but anyways, uh, neither one of them really like him either. <clears throat> but people have been telling me to get rid of him for years, and I just, I don't know. And lately, like uh, one of my associates that I met through David... When I told him I'm done with David, he goes, yo, you made it longer than I could. <clears throat> and we were talking. He goes, let me spell it out for you. B. U. M. What's that spell? Boom! <laughs> Here's the goats. <clears throat> what are you guys doing? <sighs> so I'm working with them right now until my mom comes down. I just moved some pallets. Oh! Actually, no. I gotta do work on that real quick. I gotta move some pallets. Um, for a pallet shed that I need to build. And to put a pallet box around. <coughs> um, around these trees that we got from my mom's place up in Kansas City. So the goats don't keep eating the bark off of them. <clears throat> so I'm just going to move those for now. I'll work on the pallet boxes this weekend. But I'm just going to move the other pallets because I want the pallets underneath these pallets. So I'm going to move um, some of these pallets over. Because once uh, I get my pickup truck back, I'm also going to move my wood splitter back down here and lock it up. So nobody takes it. <clears throat> and I'm going to build a pallet shed for it as well. I'll uh, probably use this one David was using because it's smaller. And I got a bigger one that I just bought. Got a good deal on it. 15 bucks I think it was. So, um, ah, the pallets are over here. So I'm going to use that one for something else. But um, I'll probably move my mom's lawnmower into that one. <clears throat> or maybe I'll move her lawnmower into this other one and move my lawnmower into that one because my lawnmower is bigger. And it needs a bigger topper. So anyways, this is the pallets I'm working with. These are all like building material pallets. So I'm going to use these top ones for the pallet shed. Or sheds, plural. And then I'll use the bottom ones for the pallet box to go around the trees. Because they don't need to be as good a quality. Because they're junk. Or, you know, whatever. It's just to keep the goats off the trees. Alright, that's it. Bye. Alright. <clears throat> I'll make this as the conclusion for my farm update. This was for this morning. Basically, we rotated the goats today. <clears throat> so I have to move the camera. Not that it's going to do any good because... There's too many trees in that yard, and the camera won't see crap. So I'll probably just leave it where it is, because they're going to be back in this yard in three weeks anyways.
<clears throat> that trailer in the back, that green roof on it, that's that portable goat house that I made with David's trailer. <clears throat> the trailer is not street legal because uh, he inherited it from his family when they kicked him off the family farm. <clears throat> but they wanted, they wouldn't give him the title because he, he wouldn't title it in his name. <clears throat> so I went and asked if I could get the title so I could put it in my name. So since David refuses to put anything in his name. And then they threatened, or actually her husband threatened to report it stolen <clears throat> so I had to sick my lawyer on him and he backed off <clears throat> so that's basically David's trailer but we could never get it legal because David refused to put anything in his name and uh, so I made use of it by turning it into a mobile goat house actually it was a mobile pig house to begin with now it's a mobile goat house but <clears throat> Yeah, it's David's trailer, so he wants to use my trailer. Well, he's got a trailer. He can just use his. It's not my problem. I don't care if it's legal or not. It's not my problem. So, there you go. Anyways, I'm running to town right now. I gotta find a pitchfork because the only pitchfork on the land belongs to David. <clears throat> and he acts like a little baby every time I want to use it. Yeah, he wants to use my stuff. And he wants to claim my stuff as his stuff. So I guess he's more like Jerry Diamond than I thought. What's his is his and what's yours is his. That's exactly how Jerry Diamond is. I don't think he's resorted to stealing from me yet, per se. I mean, a moocher is really not much different than a thief. They just have different ways of going about it. <clears throat> But, anyways, <clears throat> so, I told him again today I'm selling the land. He asked me how much for five acres. I said $20,000 an acre. <clears throat> but that's because I ain't got my stuff moved off of it. If I find another property and I move there, once I get all my stuff moved, then we can negotiate. But until then, fuck it. I want 20 grand per acre. But, you know, it's a little ridiculous. However, however, people are asking up to $16,000 an acre. So 20 is not that far off. <laughs> I mean, I'd be the only one asking 20000 an acre. But still, that's my starting price. Like I said, once I get everything moved off the property, if I find someplace else to move first, then I can negotiate. But until then, I'm not negotiating. You give me $20,000 an acre and give me time to move my stuff, I can afford to hire somebody to move all my stuff and have it done in like a month or two tops. Anyways, I'm in town. I'm almost MFA. I had to back up all those videos from the other phone this morning. It got hacked yesterday, <clears throat> so uh, yeah, I just backed up the videos and then moved them over to this phone. So I'll piece it all together and upload it <clears throat> as my update. Ah, uh, no, these guys are expensive. I would go to MFA. I hate MFA though, <laughs> but I still go there because they're like my last resort place to go buy stuff. I don't hate MFA. I just hate the MFA here in Stockton. Um, <clears throat> they try to sell you things that you don't really need. Like I went in there for horse fence and they're like, oh yeah, we got that. Or maybe it was goat fence. I can't remember. I think it was horse fence. So, oh yeah, we got that. And then he sold me field fence, put it on my credit card. I went out to pick it up or my debit card, went out to pick it up and it was the wrong product. And so I was like, I had to get it reimbursed. Of course that takes three to five days for it to go back on my card. Right. So then, uh, he sold me something else, and it turned out to be dog fence, not horse fence. So I ended up having to 
have them reimburse me for that too. Of course, it takes three to five days for that to go back on my card. Meanwhile, now I have no money. So I can't go buy a uh, horse fence from somebody else. I ended up having money in a different account. But <clears throat> nonetheless, he tied up that account by selling me two products that I didn't need or want. And he said it was what I needed and wanted. So that's why I don't like coming here. But that's where I'm at now. So don't go to MFA in Stockton. Uh, go anywhere else first and then use this place as your last resort. Also, this lady in here, I don't know. She rubs me the wrong way. Okay, bye.